Now this brings us to the subject of how the Honorable Louis Farrakhan might likely be mocked by black people working in Hollywood and in the entertainment industry during the process of his crucifixion by the synagogue of Satan. Well, how so? In the world of sport and play, the satanic rulers constantly make idols from among those who participate at the highest levels of sport, play, and entertainment. And the ignorant masses, millions, are influenced to worship and give deference to such persons. Now, what is an idol? According to the dictionary, an idol is defined as any person or thing regarded with blind admiration, adoration, or devotion. So those who adopt idols are called blind because they never question the actions of their idols or what comes from the mouths of their idols. This makes an idol someone that people cherish enough to follow in terms of how they should view themselves, others in the world around them. In other words, idols have their own gospel that the people sup up as the gospel. Now, before any of us boldly declare that we have no idols, and I can hear it, I ain't got no idol, we should assess whether our opinions are born of God in the divine laws of God, or whether our opinions about matters sprout from a celebrity or politician in contradiction to what is recorded in the scriptures. That's how you know. But of course, if you don't know the divine laws of God, and you don't adhere to the decency in your own nature, then you do have an idol somewhere that you're just not willing to admit. So just as the divine supreme being manifests his views on life through his prophets, again through the Holy Quran and Bible, the synagogue of Satan don't have a Bible or a Quran per se. They have a warped understanding that they share through their religious orders they establish. But most times, it expresses its views, the synagogue of Satan, of us and to us through those idols that it has created from the entertainment industry. And as we have witnessed, when the satanic families want us to embrace a, a specific view that supports their dominance over our lives, they sick some of their entertainers on us to influence us in that direction. And most often such entertainers are unaware of how they are being used to manipulate the public in ways contrary to decency and self-respect. I'm giving some of us the benefit of the doubt. So today comedians, actors, entertainers, musicians, professional athletes dominate the airways the airways in television, radio, and movies. These persons have tremendous platforms to influence the thinking of the masses, and many of them are on record as having offered fleeting opinions and jokes about serious matters, even on issues that affect the reputation of other people in the eyes of the public. Now, in the Holy Quran, Allah admonishes those who believe in him against treating serious matters in a trifling or trivial way. The most serious matters involve un un unsubstantiated and false accusations made against people that threaten their reputation. So Allah states in the Holy Quran, why did not the believing men in the believing women, when you heard it, think well of their own people and say this is an evident falsehood. Why did they not bring four witnesses of it? So as they have not brought four witnesses, they are liars in the sight of Allah. The testimonies of witnesses are vetted to ensure that such persons are truthful. The fact that Jesus was falsely accused 
and yet punished shows that those charged to administer justice may not necessarily do so. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been falsely accused by false witnesses and then crucified. So, of course, the black people of America have and continue to suffer greatly under a government that has notoriously been unjust to us. We have been unlawfully killed and unlawfully, unlawfully in present to this day. Now, we as a people need to think about that before we raise our voices to condemn another of our own. And what prevents black people from doing that is self-hatred, just straight up. So Allah requires us to accept the state of integrity that a person has demonstrated and then to ascertain the validity of the testimonies of the witnesses before we are even permitted to raise our voices on the matter lest we be accused of slander. So what is the integrity of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan? See, most of us would say that he's a good man. We know his long-standing battle against the synagogue of Satan. And we have demonstrated our support for him by showing up in the millions to hear him Why Caucasian leaders generally have bad-mouthed him. Now, we just need to maintain that kind of mindset when some of our black entertainers and celebrities decide to side with the synagogue of Satan for a couple of coins. That's the only ones they have left. We're not going to listen to Caucasian people tell us about a man that's proven himself in the inner cities and that his love for us is is undeniable. So why not send a company of black people who we made idols so that they can turn these niggas against him? How can we fall for that? I'm saying the black person who decides to do that and the black brother and sister who fall and listen to them. So we're on trial today. Are we still the jigaboos? the coons, the shines, the cowardly folk? Or have we risen to be men and women? Well, now we're on trial to show that when they come against a man we know has our best interests at heart. So God is going to see how we fare. And I believe that we will be triumphant. <laughs>